Hello, my friends, and welcome to another report on the Ukraine-Russian war. Today is day 263. Okay, so let's get straight to it, guys. We're here at the Deep State map, and as you can see, Kherson is all in blue. Um, let's see, the map was last updated yesterday at 345 or 348 and the last one we got is the enemy has partial success at Pavlivka, Optimine and Pervomusk. The front lines and other areas have been clarified. So we have no uh, change here in Kherson and so let's go over here to Pavlivka. I'm going to have to zoom in on this and here we can see this was yesterday. Now, let me zoom in on that a little bit more. This was yesterday, and this is today. So they have reached Bavlivka. Okay, and let's come up to what was it? It was here. Let's see yesterday and today. Um, yesterday and today. So they have advanced here. And let me zoom out a little because this is right at Divka. We're trying to encircle it yesterday and today. Oh, these poor guys. And let's take a look around the Bakhmut area. Heavy fighting there, guys. I posted an article yesterday about um, soldiers having going to the hospital every 30 minutes, injured and dead. It's really horrible over here, but they are holding the line. Uh, where else? Let's see here. Yesterday and today. Okay, it looks like if this isn't a correction, we've gained some territory here. And yesterday and today. Looks like we had some success here. Alright guys, so let's get to the Russian losses. Okay, and so we're sitting at 324,440 total killed is 80,860 and so if we go to yesterday we've got 80,210 so they lost about 650 soldiers and we've got 12 combat armored vehicles uh, two tanks and eight artillery now this is interesting I've got another um, there we go. Bring this up a little. Okay. This one's saying that we've got uh, 650 troops, 12 armored personnel vehicles, 16 vehicles and fuel trucks, two tanks, eight artillery, one UAV, uh, one anti aircraft, and looks like that's it for that. Okay. Let's come here. Guys, I want to give a shout out to Reddit uh, Ukrainian Conflict. Um, I really like this channel. And let's see. Um, okay. So, uh, reporting that uh, a Russian flag has disappeared from the center of Melitopol. Okay, and you can see the flag was here, and it is no more. And this is still under uh, Russian control, so I'm not sure if it's partisans or if they're evacuating. Hopefully they're evacuating. Okay, now this is pretty interesting here. <clears throat> there are unconfirmed reports from Russian media outlet Rosmi that Ukrainian forces have taken control of the village of Hiroshiki on the left bank of the Dnipro Gulf near the Kinburn Spit. 
and okay come on there we go oh, my computer is really slow today as you can see it's right here here is her song um, supposedly they've crossed and have unconfirmed they've taken a village okay go to the Kiev independent and uh, General Staff, Ukraine's military hits Russian forces concentration point in Kherson Oblast. Um, the General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces confirmed on November 13th that the Ukrainian army hit the Russian forces concentration area in the Kherson Oblast. A high precision strike was carried out near the village of Dnipuri on a building containing up to 500 troops. So that's uh, at least two trucks carrying bodies were reportedly taken to Tarisk, a town in the Kharkovka district located 80 kilometers east of Kherson. According to Ukraine's military, some 56 badly wounded Russian soldiers were taken to the hospital. And over the past 24 hours, Russian forces launched four missiles, 16 airstrikes, and over 40 MR. MLRS attacks on Ukraine and uh, da, da, let's see here what else we, do we have mayor Russians turn occupied Militopol into military base okay um, Wall Street Journal officials divided on need to push Kiev into peace talks with Russia okay we'll get to that in a sec okay one two show this as well um, no from no reports there are unconfirmed reports from the Russian media outlet exactly what I was just saying okay and I think they have a little bit here yeah, they do Ukrainian sport special forces I can't play that copyright music but uh, you can see them, they're working along the Dnieper River. Unconfirmed, guys. Special Forces operation. Okay, what do we got? Uh, all right. Reset, okay. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, here's one I got for you. EU and the UK to stage walkouts when Russian delegates speak at the G20. The UK and the EU plan to confront Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and the delegation at the upcoming G20 summit over Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. And the source links in the comments. Um, where's the link in the comments? Okay, I don't know where that's in, but okay. I want to try and get through this quick. Um, this is a funny one that I found, guys, uplifting. Um, Ukrainian tank tea break. Okay. Okay. So you can see that they're having their sugar, creamer, and tea. Nice. Sitting on a tank with a hot pot <laughs> that was pretty nice okay what else do we have okay this is a nice video here guys her son Ukraine Russia said 98% voted for the annexation and look at all these people <laughs> I don't think all these people voted for the annexation. So we've got that. Let's see what we have here. We've got some Russian soldiers, eight Russian soldiers captured in Kherson region. We're see I'm seeing a lot of these guys. And I believe we're going to be seeing a lot more of this. These guys aren't even dressed in civilian clothes. OK, 
Okay, and that's the end of that video. You can see though, guys, there's a, um, they're going to be, yeah, because here, Ukrainian soldiers capture Russian soldiers in civilian clothing. <laughs> and I like this guy. He's petting this guy like a, like a cat. І погрожував ще українському населенню. Here's another one, guys. So they're the ones that didn't get across the bridge. Um, they're in civilian clothes, and supposedly there's reports of them hiding out in. Um, in basements and wherever they can, you know. So there's a curfew too in her son from uh, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. I believe, and uh, they're going around just checking everybody and trying to get as many of these uh, Russians that uh, haven't surrendered. So and I really find it odd that uh, they're trying to hide out than surrender. Okay, so here we have some liberated uh, liberated Ukrainians invite Ukrainian soldiers into their home and give them a feast. And this was pretty nice, guys. Check this out. Beef, cheese, soup. That looks pretty nice. Okay. Okay, this is... Uh, Ukrainian Babusia gives Ukrainian soldiers Russian ammo that she found and stashed away. This is cute. <laughs> Here, boys, you might be able to use this. So that was always nice. Okay, uh, it turns out that the withdrawal did not go as smoothly as Russian general staff claims. Several destroyed, deserted armored vehicles can be seen at a river crossing. Yeah, there's a bunch of these videos too, guys. I just wanted to show a couple. I uh, can't, that's uh, copyrighted music. You can see a tank here. Didn't quite make it. Is that an armored personnel? Anyway, with that, that's the end of. No, it's not the end. Here's another one. There's two of them there. Okay. So they're finding these all over now. I'm sure we're going to get a, a bunch more uh, videos. Okay, the, the Holy Russian Wonder Waff is finally arrived. Is finally arrived to the front lines to crush everyone who dares to be a non-Russian citizen. Now, this is a gun that they found. I don't know what kind of gun this is, guys, but check this out. I cannot believe that they're still issuing this. This kind of... Вот Ленд-лист. пришел. Русские против нас так воювали. Покажи цей тактический ремень. Тактический ремень, чтобы переносить в русских. Проволока, все нормально. Вот здесь не пишите, Пизды получили, да? Вот сколько тут всего было. Okay, let's keep on um, moving what we have here. Uh, this is a cute one, guys, and I'm thinking we can probably end it on here. The video's gone 14 minutes, yeah. So a dog found an unexploded grenade and to celebrate decided to show it off. And let's see here. Oh, so here you can see him, and he drops the grenade. This guy picks it up and throws it casually. But how funny is that, guys? Oh my goodness. Like, thank goodness it was unexploded. And I guess we'll end it with this one. I posted this a couple of days ago. 
but you got Ukrainian kids checking papers at their checkpoint. Well, that is something else, guys. And so this this Ukrainian soldier is uh, playing along with it. And then he's got got some apples or something there for him. That's pretty nice. You know what? We can keep on going. What the hell? So I wanted to show you guys this uh, report on CNN, and this is um, okay. Where'd you go? He said to Biden administration divided uh, over path ahead for Ukraine as top U.S. general pushes for diplomacy. And this is Mark Milley, General Mark Milley. And he says, uh, when there's an opportunity to negotiate, when peace can be achieved, seize it, seize the moment, Miley said. That was pretty interesting. And then we have... Uh, retired General Ben Hodges, and he seems to have a different opinion. Uh, retired U.S. General Ben Hodges, Heimers will soon be firing from her son. This will degrade Russian defenses, LOCs, while left wing of the counter offensive takes Mariupol and Melitopol by January, then begins the divisive phase of the campaign, liberation of Crimea. Wow, like, um, that's awfully fast in January, guys. And, let's see here, I wanted to show you guys this. What, what I think, what everybody's been saying it, guys, because they had so much success trapping the Russians here and blowing all the bridges so that they couldn't evacuate they were and they couldn't well actually they did evacuate and supposedly they did evacuate pretty successfully you know um, we were hoping that 20 30 thousand soldiers got stuck here looks like the majority did cross successfully however when they cut the bridges and all the yeah the, the three bridges um, they weren't able to resupply these guys. And so that's why they ended up retreating. And so the same thing here, if Ukraine is able to cut off this land bridge here, this becomes another island and the same thing is gonna happen. They're gonna to have to retreat and hopefully give up. And that's what Ben Hodges, I think is saying, is uh, first they'll take Mariupol, then Melitopol, and then uh, Crimea. So, everybody is looking for this to happen. So, take it from there to there. And I'm sure that that's the first area. Um, well, I'm not sure, but I would think that they're going to try to come in from here. Or, let's see here. Where... There's so many partisans in Malayupo that they might actually try to go from Malayupo, you know, break out this area and maybe even just come straight over to Malayupo. So that's what everybody is, is hoping for. Anyway, guys, so that's the my little adventure on the news and analysis and what everybody is reporting. Um, I'm a brand new channel, guys, so if you like the way I present the news, you know, please subscribe to the channel, give me a like, um, leave a comment if, you know, you think I'm wrong, or if, if you got any footage that hasn't been seen, send it to me. Like, I'd love to uh, post it. And anyway, guys, um, for all my freedom-loving friends, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really hope this war ends, and I hope Ukraine gets all its land back. Um, with that, peace out, guys. Have a beautiful day.